Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a collection of some tips that you can do when doing frequency separation. So if we start off filters, frequency separation and whatever we're going to set it to that'll do. So now we've got the two layers here. One of the things that's nice to do is to be able to do a before and after. Um, you could have copied the original picture, that's okay as well. And one of the things you can do is hold down shift key, click on the bottom and control G gives you a group with these in here. So I can hit control J on that and I've got two groups. Close off the bottom one, turn it off if you like, but that's what you've got there. You can always go back and have a look at that uh, at another time. Another way of doing this, I'll just delete that for the moment, is if you want to have uh, backup is to just do those separately here. So control J on that one, turn off this, hit this one, control J and turn off that one there. And you can name them B for backup, B, B high, call that one and B low. So you can always have bring those on and, and see what you've done and compare one against the other. What else can we do? Um, well, yes, here's a good one, is, is the um, high frequency amplifier. And that is, above the high frequency here, we're going to put in our levels. So if I put in levels here and drag that up, just above there, because this is a temporary thing, I'm going to turn on and off. If I turn this one off here, so this is, uh, yeah, this is going to be applied to this. So we'll, we will drag that in with that. There we go. What we get is a spike like this. And when I bring this in to here, sort of darken it, but when I bring the top one in to here, so just touching the edge of it, you can see there it's really amplified the effect that I'm seeing here. If I turn that off, we get the original, but I turn it on, I've got the high frequency amplified, and that's with a levels adjustment attached to it. So most of the time we turn it off, but if I want to edit this directly, I can see very clearly what I'm doing. So, what else is there? Oh, we can also add effects. Um, just to make it clear, I'm going to go back to the beginning a bit here. So, um, where shall I go? Here we go, just back those two, so you can see more what's going on there. Um, and that is, we can do uh, have effects. So let's take the low frequency. We can add anything to these. So let's say, well, let's add, let's add a blur actually to this. We'll crank it right up. Well, that's a rather odd effect. But if I change the blend mode and go to screen, there we go. I've got a kind of dreamy effect. Let's pr preserve alpha to keep the outside clear. But there we've got a, say, kind of a dream picture. And again, you can get before, after and so on. And you can do lots of experiments. You can just play with this. Let's just turn that off. Um, what else? Oh, you can do with a high frequency. You can add noise reduction directly to that. You can add sharpening directly to that. So, for example, um, let's do a quick unsharp mask. And if I turn this sort of up a bit here, you can see the sharpening effect you're having there. So that's before, after, before, after, and so on. So you can act on that directly there. There we go. What else can we do? Um, brush tools. If we go to the low frequency thing here, there's a whole bunch of brush tools that you can just experiment and, and, and use and so on. You can even use here the paint mixer brush, which is not used very often, but it's sort of like a, it's more like a painting brush, 
But if you alt click somewhere, it picks up the color at that point and you then paint and it sort of drags that color around and you can sort of use a, a bit of a color here and to paint downwards and into other areas and around so you get sort of a, a, an effect here you can change the strength turn it right up to see the exaggerated way you do it so alt click where you want to start from then paint so it sort of drags that around there so that's over exaggerated so you use that fairly low okay that's enough for now and there's just a few other things that you can do with frequency separation thank you very much for watching